What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at a uh, an app called um, Throttle Stop. Uh, this app should help with throttling. So, what throttle throttling really is is when your computer is overheating and isn't really using that much of the resources that it has, and is like using like one gigahertz when it can go up to 3.5 or 2.5 and it's already at like a 90 80 degrees which isn't good so today uh we're gonna fix that and this is mainly for our laptop players another tip with uh the th uh, for our laptop players is to buy some uh to buy a laptop cooler uh you can buy some for you can buy a good one on amazon uh you can just search up laptop cooler uh you can mount this up uh, you can mount it uh, under your laptop and this should help with uh, your heating problems of your computer. So what you want to do is type, uh, is type throttle stop. You want to go into this throttle stop 9.5 download tech power up. Click download on the left. Make sure you're clicking on the one that says uh, closest to you for the fastest download time see only about five seconds of download time open it make sure you have like an extracting folder thing click on throttle stop dot exe click yes click another yes make sure you agree on using this use throttle use off throttle stop at uh is at your own is at your own risk so what you want to do is uh, disable, uh, do not uh, copy any of these settings, just make sure you have high performance checked. It's, uh, it's usually unchecked, but just make sure it's checked and make sure it's on high performance. Uh, make sure that you have clock mode on 100%, so it's using 100% of its clock. And uh, make sure that you have this turned on and uh, speed step turned on. If you have a lower, uh, like, uh, very, like, uh, low end PC, you might, you might want to watch another video, uh, for this might, uh, make some problems for you. So, yeah, just make sure you do, uh, with the people of low end PC slash in laptops. And then the main reason for this part is to go to limits. I don't have any limits right now because I just cleared them. You want to make sure you press the clear button. If there is anything else, that's just something that I don't think you can change. After you press the clear button, press, uh, click OK. Make sure you have this turn, make sure this says turn off because that means it's actually turned on. And then you just want to click on save. So this should help you with uh, this, especially CPU performance. And uh, yeah, you just want to close this out. You can close this, close this. You wanna if you wanna check the performance, you wanna go into here and see uh this I think this is a uh, uh so before I actually did this it was a like four point five gigahertz, four point four. I did this a very long time ago, so I it's on four point eight from a very long time ago. But like before I did this it was like a four point five gigahertz, four point four, so this does help. And my base speed is only 3.5 because this is overclocked. If you want to know how to like get this like 1.3 gigahertz extra speed, you just want to go check out my latest, my last video on my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe, subscribe to King, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.